hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video i am back from my christmas break i am ready i am so excited to get going start up again on good old pelican bay so today i'm just gonna kind of go around and like pick up all my christmas decorations and maybe do a few tweaks here and there to the island because you know christmas is over it's valentine's day now <laughs> i'm just kidding uh i don't really care that much about valentine's day how about you so yeah we're just gonna pick up you know all my christmas decorations that i worked so hard on but it's okay it's the cycle it's the cycle of life the circle of life one of those but yeah how you guys been doing we're just getting right into it because i've been so excited to play like i've had all these ideas when i was taking my break and i was like oh i really just like want to go and do them right now and like not even tell the froggy army can you believe i even thought that i'm so sorry of course i will record everything that i do because i want you guys to like see everything and get inspired and all that stuff so yeah okay that was like all the lake stuff oh we just we got a present and we got those snowflakes but if you still want to see my winter decoration i'll leave it up for a good while so don't worry if you still haven't had the chance to visit my dream address you still can it will still be up for a while i'll let you guys know next time i change it i'm really bad about changing it anyways so <laughs> uh yeah it'll probably be up for a long time my beautiful ice rink okay we're just gonna take everything down it's all right i really like doing seasonal builds it really keeps me motivated because i know that there's something that i can always change you know because like once i finish my island like it'll just kind of be done and then you know if we didn't do seasonal stuff i would be like all right that's it no more islands but the seasonal stuff like helps me do more stuff if that makes sense but yeah i mean now that the year is pretty much over and we've had all these animal crossing events i have to say the christmas decorations are by far my favorite seasonal uh items and stuff like that they are just so perfect i mean i'm kind of biased because i love christmas that's my favorite holiday but it's all right i can i can still have my opinion even if it's biased you know <laughs> but yeah i really love all the christmas stuff all the frozen stuff the illuminated things you guys know i love those so it's been my it's been my absolute favorite and i really liked how the winter made my island look uh even though i'm excited to head into cherry blossom season i uh i, I really enjoyed this i really happy all this winter stuff very cozy i love the winter because i do not get it where i live uh i don't get real winter it gets to be like 40 degrees at the coldest and everybody freaks out and that's it <laughs> all right i got a full inventory so let's go drop it off into storage my expanded storage thank you nintendo for giving me more storage otherwise this would have been so annoying all right emptied out our inventory where else do i have christmas stuff i I don't even remember my entrance for sure oh yeah the little seasonal area kk is here today how okay how is this man not freezing cold sir would you like a jacket i mean i can't really talk that much i'm wearing short sleeves i did change back into uh my bee dress but i did keep my little tights i have some white tights on so don't worry my legs won't freeze that's the least i could do for my character you know not not freeze her to death <laughs> ah naked entrance uh, I have to put everything back up. I just want to. I just want to build new things. Oh, does this mean I have to put my leaf path back? No, I like the ice path. I love it so much. But what I was talking about earlier, speaking of you know finishing my island and stuff, that is a hot topic on Pelican Bay. All my villagers keep asking me, "Hey Raven, when are you gonna be done with our stupid island?" Just kidding. They don't call it stupid. I don't think they even have that word in their vocabulary. Like, it was not programmed in by Nintendo. <laughs> but yeah, um, I really do want to actually legit buckle down, finish my island, like, soon. Like, ASAP. Because, if you guys don't know this already, the game released in March. That is when I purchased Animal Crossing New Horizons. And that is when I started this same exact island same exact island um i don't know if you know that i have not reset i have not restarted um at all not even off camera not even before i started youtube this has been the same exact island i've been working on for almost a year and we ain't done yet 
and I ask myself every day, Raven, what is the deal? Why are you not finished? <laughs> and truly, I couldn't tell you why I'm not finished, but we're gonna we're gonna just try to focus and finish. Really, my goal is to be done for cherry blossom season, but I'm not I don't really even remember when that comes in. Let me look it up actually. When does cherry blossom season start? Oh, cherry blossom season starts April 1st. Okay, yeah, no, I'm going to finish my island before then. <laughs> I thought it maybe started in like February. I don't know why. Um, Yeah, we are not waiting until April to finish. So I think my goal is to be done by January. Like I want to be finishing up my island in January because like I'm ready for something new. I'm ready for something fresh. I've been on this island for almost a year. I have a lot of ideas that I just can't do on this island because they don't match my theme and I know that there's no rules I don't have to stick to my theme but I would like to and that's I I like creating themed worlds and having things match and look nice together and I just absolutely love having my pockets full mm, favorite thing in the world so yeah that's kind of the goal like my mental goal for myself is to finish by january like february at the latest but yeah hopefully i can get it done at this point there's just a lot of areas that i have on my island that i just have no clue what to do with and there's such awkward areas like this like it's right behind these houses right in front of the orchard which needs some love but yeah i don't know what to do with this space like this isn't enough room for me to really create like a whole thing and i feel like it's kind of just like a pathway to go up here and to go to the orchard so i feel like I don't know i just don't know what to do here and i think that's my struggle i have a lot of those areas where they're kind of like in between other things you know and i just have no clue what to put there and i know i'll figure something out i always do but as of right now that's what's stumping me <laughs> really like um yeah i just don't use my brain meats and i don't figure anything out and then i procrastinate and then i do other things on my island like change up places that are already finished and then yeah that's that's why we're here a year later and my island is not done okay i think i grabbed all of the seasonal stuff i think i grabbed all the christmas stuff so i'm gonna go put the rest of the stuff inside and then go grab things to uh redecorate the areas that i made naked and i had the best idea to replace the little uh, tall lanterns that I usually put here in my entrance. Wait till you guys see this. This is the best idea I've ever had in my whole entire life. Like, this is my whole career. All right, just wait, just wait. Put one of these bad boys down. And then of course, on the other side, we gotta put the same one, right? Just hold on, hold on. Boom. Is this not the best thing I've ever created? No, he's backwards. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have them facing the side. The little uh, black like stands kind of ruin it, but you know what? We're gonna go with it. We're gonna go with it. Look at this. Beauty, grace, a magnificent magical entrance. This is beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I had that dumb idea um, a while ago and I just, I had to do it. I had to do it to him. All right, now I always don't remember how this goes, but I think, just like that is good. My little crescent moon. It feels like there's a lot of empty space here. I don't remember what else I usually have, but I think we're good. I think it looks naked because of the uh, ice path. Usually the leaf path, I think, kind of fills it out a bit more. <laughs> All right, and then let's see. What are we going to do here? I always change it up here. I like keeping this area fresh, funky fresh. Let's just, uh, let's just stay real simple. Do my little garden wagon back here. I think let's put one of these simple wells. I have been considering lately, I'm like, these simple wells are so underrated, like, I need to use these more. Yeah, just like tucked away behind the tree, that is so adorable. Um, there was a mush lamp here, why don't I put it back? I think it looks cute there. Then let's do a butterfly model, like right in here. Very magical looking. And then, since I have like this little two um, tile space right here, I like to put items that are like long like that, that take up two tiles. So I brought a swinging bench. I think that'll look really cute. Just push it back here. You can't actually sit on it, but it's the thought that counts. And then lasty, lasty, why do I, okay. How do I butcher 
totally completely normal words. <laughs> I just, I amaze myself every day. Okay, anyways, lastly, just grabbing some flowers and we'll just slap those in here. I think p pink hyacinths are like my favorite flower in this game now. Um, I don't know whatever I said before, but disregard it because they are my new favorite. Can't forget a good old custom design on the floor. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a Froggy Crossing video. And there we go. Okay, this is a little area. Super simple. Just a couple of items. And I'm happy with it. I love it. I think this is my best rendition yet. And I think I'm actually going to put that little star stepping stone that I erased. I'm going to put it back. Yes. I love it. Super fairy core, magical, absolutely magnificent A plus vibes. This little spot looks empty, so I'm putting a Nova Light. That is super cute. Uh, Tangy is apparently addicted to caffeine. Alright. Cool. And you know what? Okay. I've decided. What I was talking about earlier when I have areas that I just don't know what to put in that are like between other areas, like this area. Let's just do this area. You know? Like, let's start, let's start fixing our problems. Let's stop letting things hold us back. Because we are going to finish this island whether I like it or not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I want to like it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to only do it if I like it. So, but yeah, let's like, let's figure out something for this area. It's awkwardly shaped. I don't know what to put here. We'll figure something out. I really liked the uh, wishing well that we did in the little seasonal area. So I think I want to get one of those. And then I also have like this little awkward thing over here where I was doing something but then I decided not to and like what is this shape kind of looks like a pair of upside down sunglasses uh just okay let's go get some items I think items will really help me fill out that area okay I grabbed an assortment of things all completely random but I'm thinking we're gonna use a lot of nature elements to like bulk up kind of like most of the area and then we'll use a couple of items to kind of fill out the rest of the space because i feel like that's just what works best like you just use a bunch of trees and you're good and the area is decorated <laughs> so when i'm like placing trees i'm always considerate of what area i'm gonna like block off from sight so even though i would want some more like vertical height right here i would love to put a tree right here but I do not want this wonderful little pumpkin patch area to be covered, so I will not put it there. Um, what seems like a good idea is to put it kind of behind these houses directly. Let's try right here. I'm gonna put just a normal tree, hardwood tree. There we go, tree. So when I'm running across here, you know, the pumpkin patch is still visible. We're all good. So that is perfect. And then when I'm placing items and trying to figure out like my pathways and stuff, I'm always careful of like, what areas do I want to be accessible? So for example, if this led to something, I would want to leave, you know, this path right here all around this tree accessible. So I wouldn't put any items that block your path, but all it leads to is this. So I think we can like decorate this little area and then just kind of block it off because there's no reason that I would ever go over here. I never go over here. <laughs> so yeah, let's just put something. I don't know, like a like a bush or something right here. Let's put a little custom design right here. Let's put another flower. And then let's see, I'm gonna put a holly bush. And then I would love to put like an item like right here. Let me see what I have. Is there anything we can fit here? Let's see how this peach surprise box looks. Where is it here? I love that this item just looks like a giant peach. It's really cute. <laughs> um, I'm gonna pull it up just one so it's a little more visible. And then I'm just gonna fill in this area. Like there's no point to put anything directly behind here. It's not gonna be visible. So I'm just gonna do fencing. And then those pink flowers are most likely going to spread to that other spot, which is actually perfect because I want to put more flowers there, but I only have three more in my inventory, pink ones, so I need those for the rest of the area. So yeah, works out perfectly. And then I'm thinking what will be perfect right here is just continuing the ice path that I have. Um, yeah, I can't really think of anything else to put here and it looks perfectly path shaped. So I'm going to go ahead and do the island designer just because it's easier for me to do paths and stuff. So yeah. So while I do this, 
the funniest freaking thing happened today and i have to share it with you guys and okay it involves my boyfriend captain quack and i asked him if i could share this and he said it was okay so <laughs> i'm gonna share it with you guys it was the most hilarious like i'm still dying right now on the inside but anyways let me actually share it so i bought him like a little cake mix i don't know if you guys have seen those ones where it's like just a little cup so it's like a single serving and all you have to do is like i don't know mix like water or something with it and you mix it up and you just put it in the microwave right i had gotten it like at i don't know what store like at Publix or something and i was like oh i'll just get them get this for him to try right because i always do that i'm the one who does the groceries and i love grocery shopping that's just a fact about me <laughs> and i like buying new things and getting them to try i don't know it's just you know we're in a pandemic most you can do like the most fun thing you can do is like eat and like try new foods in my opinion so yeah that's what i do for fun but anyways i had got this little um individual size cake mix and i don't know i didn't even read the instructions but supposedly you just like add stuff to it like you know it's just it's just like a pre-made thing and it's supposed to be easy and whatever so it was like chocolate like triple chocolate or something so i bought it like a week ago or something and i, I showed him when i bought it and i was like hey like i got this for you to try i'm gonna put it here for you blah 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 he's like okay cool and then the other day i think it was we were kind of late eating dinner and i hadn't planned out what to eat and i was like oh do you want to have just like a snack and like you know we were just trying to like figure it out you know how you do so i showed him the little cake mix and i was like you could have this and he was like oh i don't know you know like whatever like we were just figuring it out and he decided not to eat it and that was fine the next day which is today <laughs> oh god okay i wake up in the morning and uh you know it's like 1 p.m or whatever typical raven time and i come in to the office and you know he's in here doing his own thing and i come in and i you know say good morning whatever and he's like he asks me <laughs> Were you supposed to add anything to that thing that you got me to try or and i was like what are you talking about are you were you supposed to add anything yeah you add stuff you add like water and he's like oh because i just ate it by itself and i was like mind you i just woke up i don't know what i'm hearing right now so i'm like what what you just ate you just ate the powder and he's like he starts laughing and he's like yeah and i'm like why would you do that? I, just, I can't. I can't. It's, even telling it right now. And I'm like, what? I just, I just didn't know what to say. Just like now, I don't know what to say to that. And I was like, how could you just eat the powder? And he's just, he's like cracking up. I'm cracking up. And I'm like, you're supposed to put things in it and microwave it. And he's like, oh. Well, that explains it i was wondering why it was so weird <laughs> and, I'm, and i'm just imagining this man going into the pantry taking out that little individual cake mix and not reading the label not reading the instructions opening it just seeing powder because you know it's like flour and sugar and like cocoa powder and stuff and just i just imagine him looking at it and being like yeah all right i'll eat that <laughs> <laughs> just shoveling it into his mouth and like it's so dry you know how if you eat like raw cocoa powder like it's so dry and i just imagine him just being like all like mouth dry needing to drink water to eat it and i just i lose it i absolutely lose it and i asked him later i'm like did you not did you not think while you were eating it like this is wrong something has to be wrong and he was like honestly yeah i did but i just kept eating it and i i don't know you guys help me <laughs> is he okay <laughs> so uh yeah this is why um i i don't even know i don't even know what the moral of the story is <laughs> read the labels before you eat something <laughs> i don't know <laughs> but yeah i was just dying and i just still can't believe it many hours later and uh it was just it was just something so yeah 
<laughs> I love him so much. It, it made my morning hilarious, so yeah. <laughs> If you have ever done something similar, um, or anyone you know has ever done something similar, please let me know because it just, it cracks me up as you can see. But anyways, thank you for listening to my story and I think we got the path all done. It is ice. I will go replace it with the leaf path at some point. I don't know if I'll do it like today or now, but at some point this will change back into my good old leafy path. So now that we have the path, we have like a more defined area of like where we're going to put things. So we got this little empty space and we got this little empty space and we got this little dongle space over here. So I got some more trees that I can work with since they kind of, you know, take up the most space and stuff. I'm definitely going to try to work with those first. So like I said, don't want the uh whatever this is called i forget the name ignore that this says hot cider i i know it's a pumpkin patch i just you know custom designs you feel me <laughs> uh anyways i'm gonna put a tree right here because this is like the only spot it can go without like totally blocking everything so we got that god i'm so sorry i'm just thinking about <laughs> just <laughs> i was thinking about like him eating it with like a fork like the cake mix powder eating it with like a fork and like shoveling it into his mouth and like there's like chocolate chips in there too and him just eating like raw chocolate chips which can be a vibe if you're into that but they're supposed to be baked into the cake <laughs> oh god okay oh, i'm just imagining and like you know if like you cough a little bit and like the cocoa powder comes like spurting out oh my god anyways okay i could put a tree right here but it might kind of block the ramp. I don't know if that would be too hard for people to find. So I might leave that. Or we could put a baby tree. Ooh, hi Tia. Okay, I'm gonna try putting a bamboo tree here. I don't know if it's gonna be like too much, but we'll see. Oh yeah, that's not, that's not bad at all. I'm gonna get this balloon because I finally brought a slingshot with me. Last time I was playing, I missed so many balloons and I was like, oh my God, just Bring your freaking slingshot, please. Oh, let me see what we got. Maybe we can use it to decorate with. Oh, school chair? What does that look like? Oh, it's pink. Kind of. That's cute. That would be so cute for kid core. Oh, I can't wait to do kid core. That is going to be my next island theme, by the way. I do talk about it occasionally on streams. And if you've missed every single stream of mine, that's totally fine. I forgive you. Uh, I do stream on Tuesdays at 2 p.m. EST. <laughs> Almost forgot my own time that I stream. All right, we're kind of, it's it's coming together. I might need to grab more items, honestly. What do I have? Like chairs, tables, stools. Ooh, the well. Okay, where can that go? That could go on the edge here. Oh, that's cute. <sighs> okay, but you know what it needs. I don't even, I don't even have to say it. You guys already know. You guys already know. Okay, is that gonna look weird? Cause I can't put them on those little corner things, you know? No, why is it off center? Why are you off center? Stop it. Yes, centered, okay. Yeah, it looks weird. Get rid of these. Get rid of these little corners. Bye. Okay, simple well. Simple, but well, it it's, it's good. I don't know. I ignore that I tried to make that joke. Just ignore it. Then I think let's put some little decorations up here. Do I have a mush lamp? Cause that would be so cute. <gasps> I do. Mush lamp. Okay. You're cute. I think another custom design, AKA the star, you know, the best one in the game. I don't make the rules. Maybe a bush. Let's put this one. Mm, okay. I don't know why I said mmm like that. Because yeah, again, this area does not need to be accessible. Like, what am I going to do here? Absolutely nothing. Oh, and I know, I know just how to finish it off. Country fans, I love you. Beautiful. I wish I could put one more piece right here, but it just, the well covers it, so. Oh, well. Okay, so. We got this little area covered. I'm actually gonna change this. I don't like the double 
what's it called? Stars. How do I forget what a star is called? I'm just gonna put froggy puddle. Yeah, I like froggy puddle better. There we go. Okay, we're good. So I think I have some seating options. So I'm gonna try to do like a little sitting area. I got the iron garden chair and I got a log chair. Where's the table? I know I have the table. Iron garden table. I do this a lot. Well, at least I think I do it a lot. Um, I like to put just little sitting areas, super simple. They help really decorate any area, I think. All you have to do is put a table, a chair, and then you put something on top of the table. What do we got? We got a butterfly model. We could do a candle, a star clock. Let's just do the candle. And then you just like add little decor around it. I got the tree, I got the flowers. What else could we put? We could put some custom designs. You know what I'm missing? I'm missing weeds that is what would finish off a lot of these areas so we'll probably have to go back for those but okay what else can we put this is where i start to struggle i just got this awkward strip and i don't know what to put let's put these here i think we can get away with like a little miniature path of stones yeah that kind of just leads you there and then you know what i'm having a new idea instead of these hedges I want to put some more flowers. I got to go grab some more, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Okay, let me see if this looks how it looked in my head. <laughs> I was I was thinking of like a little fenced off area of flowers. I don't know. Mm, do I like it? That is, a, that is a question I am asking myself right now, and I'm going to go with yes. Again, it's just like behind their houses. I don't I don't really care that much. <laughs> Actually, instead of the holly bush, I think I'm gonna gonna do something more what's it called? Brave. Um jaw dropping, inspiring. I'm gonna put a nova light. Oh yes. Oh yes, I like that much better. And then I'm gonna put some weeds back here. I don't know if the flowers can grow back here or like um, spread back here, but I'm going to put some anyway just in case. All right, and the last area that we have is right here. So this is the entrance to my little pumpkin patch. So uh, I don't know. I kind of want to keep this mostly clear, you know, I don't really want to have too much going on. I don't know what to put like on the outside, though. I could try this little this little thingy. This little number. Yeah, this kind of like fills up the space nicely. I think I like this. It's kind of a nice transition between the uh, the ice path, aka leaf path, and uh, this in-game design. Oh, I should be using the in-game paths. Oh no. Where can we just like stick some of these? Let's do it here and then we'll put the weeds on top. Yes, okay. Oh, I should put, oh my God. I'm so smart. I'm so smart. I should put it underneath all of these flowers and then that way they kind of look more like manicured if that makes sense. Like it looks like they were planted there on purpose like a little garden bed. See ideas just they happen and they flow. If I don't even I feel like if I don't try to think of stuff I think of stuff and if I try to I just like draw a blank. I don't know if that's the same with anyone else like I just have to like get into the flow and get into the groove and then i'm kind of like good because if i try to force it it's just not the same so that's kind of why i've had such a like a lax approach to my island um i don't i really just don't try to force it i don't try to force myself to get things done i feel like i just work the best when i just kind of let myself do my own thing and i try not to worry about what other people think i should be doing or what i think i should be doing if that makes sense because i would like to uh be already finished with my island like 10 years ago but it's fine no no rush i go at my own pace so yeah okay i like the dark dirt path it i think that helped it a lot so we're good there and now we just have this little area I'm gonna try my best, kind of just like speed round, just kind of throw stuff. So, okay, Nova Light, you know what, let's do this. Let's put a star next to the star, Nova Light. Okay, then I think I'll put some weeds 
There's already a bush here. I was gonna put another bush. Let's just put it behind the tree. <laughs> just to like bulk it out. And then, oh my god, I have an idea, I have an idea. Let's put a chair. I have like a log chair. Let's put it here, like right in front. Like a... I don't know, like it's like the farmer, well in this case Norma. So it's like Norma, you know, sits on, sits at the front of her uh, farm. You know, like the cranky old farmer who sits out there and just like kind of stares and like chews on a piece of grass. But except Norma's not cranky, she's really sweet and I love her. But yeah, that'll that's like the little idea. That's what I think of. <laughs> so I think that's almost it. I gotta grab a flower for here and then I think I'll put some weeds right here. And we got some coconuts in my inventory, so I think I'm gonna put like a little sprout right here because they look so cute. Okay, flower. Just gonna put these roses. I love the pink roses. And I think that's it. We're done. That was really good. <laughs> I'm really proud of us. I'm really proud of me. We filled up this whole awkward area that I was like, oh, it's so awkward. I don't know what to do. So let's take a look. So from the bottom, we ignore the overgrown weeds. And uh, we see our little wishing well up here, and then we have our little ramp, and then we've just got like this little decorated area. Nothing really that special. Got a path to follow. We have like a little sitting area. Please sit down. Oh my god. Please sit down. Thank you. We got a nice little candle to keep us warm. We continue on our path. Got some nice little flowers. Just some decor. Very simple. Like we didn't, we didn't do too much. But it filled out the area nicely and now it's not naked. It's just kind of like a transition area from the incline to the pumpkin patch and up here to like the little fairy area. So yeah, we did good. There's still some empty space up there, but don't worry. I'm sure we'll take care of that. So yeah, there we go. I really like it. It came out great. And here's our little this area <laughs> that I that came out really cute so yeah here are the what? sorry I'm so sorry I can't control that <laughs> here are this week's wonderful fan art submissions thank you guys for submitting these I really love them and if you would like to submit your own fan art if you haven't already then there's a link in the description to a google form where you submit so yeah, if you want to do that, it is in the description for you. Thank you to all these wonderful artists for this adorable work. I love them all so, so much. So thank you guys so much. That is going to be it from me today, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I love doing Let's Plays and just kind of like doing whatever and just kind of like chilling and hanging out with you guys. So I hope you liked it too. Um, we talked about my island goals and struggles and all that jazz so i hope you can relate and i hope you got inspired at least a little bit by the kind of few decorations that we did it was very simple but that's always my goal for you guys to be inspired and to have a good time so if you did then be sure to like this video and subscribe if you're not already i got some good juicy delicious content coming for you soon i got lots of ideas so it would be much appreciated if you hit the subscribe button and if you would like to follow me anywhere else on the internet all the links will be down below in the description thank you so much again for watching and i will see you in the next one